It's Leah with Alliance Music Essential. And today we are going to look at all of those who have Earth sign in their planet, in their houses, or maybe uh, Earth sign, Earth sign, right? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Listen, when I say you guys have messages everywhere, everywhere. So, we're going to do pathways with uh, spiritual connection with pathways, pathways with spiritual connection. So your uh, spiritual connection and pathway comes out. So your reading is going to be different because before we can get to your spiritual connection and pathways, you have two separate messages. Okay. So let's get into the first message that comes out. Okay. As I was shuffling the car, the knight of swords, right? jumps out upon my leg right falls out on my lap literally falls in my lap and when we speak legs it talks about journeying right journeys and the knight of swords here represents the resistance someone who is fighting battling warring uh or it also could be someone defending their journey so uh be careful because it's like someone here is fighting a way to strength, right? It's fighting a way to strength. And the way you travel or how you're traveling, with the way that you're going. So be careful because a lot of people are on a journey because we're switching. We're everyone switching their pathways. But um, a lot of people are literally um, journeying into greatness, I hear. And when you start to walk in that light and absorb that light and become like that light, the shine, right? It's like a moth to a flame. You don't just attract good to you. You got the people who do not want to see you with it because they don't have it. Or the person who doesn't want to work for it, they just want it to be given unto them. And they'll try to bat it down, knock it away, fight it away, cut it off, cut it out from your life. So let's look into this Knight of Swords. Spirit for Earth signs. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Why is the Knight of Swords here? For all of those who have planetaries, houses, and birth signs of Earth sign. Changes is coming. The, the circle, also known as the Wheel of Fortune. Divine changes, faded events. Some of you um have to have some type of resistance to be pushed forward. Someone also is going to try to fight away uh destined changes for you. See how the Knight of Swords swings that sword towards the, the wheel or the will of fortune, the circle. Mm -hmm. And then the wheel or the circle, or the will of fortune comes in as a one. The one you, which is self, the one thought, the one journey, yourself towards your thought of journey. Mm -hmm. Someone is going to um come in here and they're either going to try to take your shine, take your position, or get that away from them. Get that away from Taurus. Get that away from Virgo. Get that away from Capricorn. Get that away from a person who has a lot of earth in their chart. Get it away from them. See, get it away. Mm -mm. Spirit, what is the insight surrounding the Knight of Swords towards the Wheel of Fortune for Earth sign? See that in reverse? Is it in reverse? Nope, it's not. I'm in reverse. The balancing of confidence. Confidence comes in as a six. What must you do? Have enough confidence to know that you have help here. You see, someone who is wounded, feminine energy, right? Any fem feminine energies represent woundings. And the help is the horse. Horses take action. So even though you may not know you need to take action or you may not know who this person is battling against you in secret, know what makes you strong that you have help. Use the help to get away from the situation to bring forth your balance. Not hard to do. You have help. I can see if help wasn't given and you would have to um think of a plan. But they're telling you help is given. Mm -hmm. Spirit, clarify confidence for earth. The receiving of an offer of plenty. Let's get it. Who don't want it? 
Spiritual realm is here giving offerings, emotional offerings at that. When you become confident in your emotions, that is where you earn your plenty. The fish that is within the cup mm -hmm, is represents plenty. You could also be dealing with a water sign or a Pisces. Underneath the deck, let's see what's going on. Two of cups, more cups. This is a, a partnership, a friendship, some type of relationship that you are involved in. Could be a uh, work relationship. Yeah. Worker, co-worker, you know, um, employee, employer. There's a relationship that you're in. involved, And then they tell us that manifestation or someone is manifesting something to take place, right? Musician. What is being manifested? An emotional offer. See that? All these cups. Here someone is in their feelings. And the knight of cups is the knight that represents the weakest knight in the deck. They, they weak. This person, they're coming in to make an offer. Maybe because they see the way being cleared or they see an access point. See this? access point this is the night this is that night this night literally gets to the stream of water which represents passage and, and, and could literally turn away and give that offer to someone else right so someone is manifesting an offer but understand the offer that this person is manifesting is away from a relationship marriage partnership friendship uh work relationship See how that night is going away? Manifesting. This person is creating the walking away of the two of cups. Keep going. Because together, you have the, the major surrounded by three of cups. The two of cups and the knight ace of cups makes the three of cups. And then what they say, what is the knight of cups offering? Be careful. Because this person could literally come in here and make an offer to a third party. Because the three of cups. Um... They can go towards a person who makes them feel alive or a person who is a party, like a person who likes to party, an outgoing person. Be careful because, look, walking away. What do you? What are you doing? I'm making an offer to walk away from the indecision to do what? To move on. See that? The two of swords down. So let me show you. I'm making an offer to walk away from trying to make it work see making an offer towards walking away see that five of swords i'm leaving an indecision two of swords on the ground of confusion that's the great ground to keep moving forward chariot to keep working trying to work at it trying to make it go somewhere and it's not going i'm just i'm just gonna walk away and it's a lot of orange orange so a person walks upon a ground that was open this could be the easy access or someone who views you as a um that being easy they can take you to them wearing the orange having their way until the orange is here being grounded somebody trying to settle down a situation but why why are they offering to walk away a person is on a um pathway of value someone has value in their hand and the tool that they need to build up a balance for themselves and then they tell us eight of coins this person has been waiting for this waiting towards the sun waiting towards some type of illumination waiting towards some type of sign waiting towards some type of feather from the sky they've been waiting to do what move on everybody's i mean these two cards they're going the same way building up a balance towards waiting but why were you waiting? Because I was contemplating. See that? And I was contemplating on a new journey in love. Ace of staff, ace of cup upon my hand. But my attachments was blocking me. That's why I couldn't move. I couldn't go anywhere. I was just waiting. See that? I was just waiting. And I was just holding back. See that? For a coin. From doing what? Taking action. Queen of queen of staff someone who lacks action someone who lacks drive someone who lacks motivation see that queen of staff so be careful so a person's path has been resisted but now a person is getting their confidence which is that sign mm -hmm. see that 
to do what? Receive an offer of plenty. Whatever is plenty for them, that is the way in which they are going. They're getting ready to take action. Their horse. A person was wounded because they were waiting and waiting and waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting. See that? Waiting on what? To walk away. Now a time has come. See that? It jumps back. A time has come. See? A person was restricted in what the divines had for them. Maybe they had to learn a few lessons. Maybe they had to build up their energy. But now there's no more resistance. This person is like coming in strong, right? Walking away. And what are they walking away from? A relationship. Whatever they were in, they're walking away from it because they told us it was heavy. They told us it was heavy for them. And I'm going to cut my losses, three of swords. I'm going to carry my heartbreak. I'm going to carry my headache. But that indecision about this, is, it's a, I'm going. Bye. So some of you may need to build up your confidence and your position and your status alone because the divines are now coming in here and having their way. So what was once blocked, no more. And then I'm, I'm going to keep going real quick because a person is journeying alone. See? Hermit. Doing what though? Leaving someone in the past. Some of y'all better prepare for a heartbreak. And then they tell us why. Because new insight was gained. You see this? But the insight that was gained was away from stability or away from a relationship that a person had been involved in. Four of staff. Those are the same two of cups. Let me show you. When I say prepare, be prepared. You're either going to take action to leave or you better take action to prepare yourself because someone is leaving. And then they tell us divine changes are here. See that? Temperance towards the sneaky actions that was committed. So a person could not move. A person could not get out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. A person could not get out of a contract. A person could not um, get out of any type of agreements or promises because someone did something to keep them held in place now look the divines come in towards the sneaky actions that was taken what sneaky actions the resistance of fate the, the the resistance of divine you see how it goes so be careful and i'm gonna tell you how you saw how you know who's who in the situation if you were the person <laughs> and you don't even have a clue what i'm talking about leah yeah, you know, I'm married, and yeah, I'm with this person, and yeah, I'm with that person. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going nowhere. You were the person that the sneaky actions was committed upon. Now, if you know you did some things to delay a person from moving on or stop a person from meeting someone, you know how many Queen of Swords, look, someone who is um, wounded in their mental. You have no knowledge. Some of you have no knowledge. Look at your sword down. You can't even defend your own self. Wounding of the mental. If you um were the person that did this, you know a person is getting ready to leave you. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, look, divine value. All this stuff is popping out. All these cards. Ace of coin. But it jumps on top of your um spiritual connection. First ray of power. When I say y'all got some good messages, listen. If you were the person that you like, Leah, no, they, they didn't do that. They wouldn't do that. Never say never. All these opportunities popping. Ace of cups. Um, and if you were the person who committed these actions, get ready. Because everything that a person has done to keep a person stuck, stalled, stuck in the mud, not moving. The divines are having, they're getting ready to have their time. Do never forget that the 10th month, 10, is the divines month. And I told you last month, or, or September, we in September. The ninth month is um the setup for the divines to come in and uh, force change, force action. If you don't go with the flow of natural action or currency, you will be forced. 
And if you continue to fight against the grain of the divines, you will suffer. A lot of things are coming to light. That's why I told a lot of people, um, was it at Dark Mystics for September blocks, I believe? A lot of people are getting ready to go to court. Divorces are here. Change of knowledge. All this stuff is falling out. We're going straight to this first ray of knowledge. Um, the settling down of like uh, family disputes. Uh, what is it called? Probate and stuff. Um, and the, ba the child support issues. A lot of people are going to court. Let's go over here. So change of fortune comes out. This is another message towards you being courageous, towards your uh courage, your stamina, your energy, your life force being being uh blowed up or uh built up. Yeah, blowed up, like glow up, blow up, big, big large. Yeah. And then once again, we have the 10, honey. <laughs> changes comes in in the form of fortune and i say changes because there's a change taking place that is going to put earth signs or uh earthy charts or the um signs in your houses that are earth sign because everyone has 12 houses so therefore all 12 houses has one zodiac sign so go and look and see where your taurus your virgo and your capricorn fall there's an opportunity within those houses because it's a time of opportunity missed opportunity of what fortune towards the transformation of courage either you will accept or you will reject this upon the houses or upon the planets in which you are in your uh chart there's a lot of green here green talks about um abundance success wealth health that's a green snake, right? Um, don't be afraid of changes because it's like hidden fortune, hidden gifts, hidden blessings are coming. Right now, the dragon is protecting the honey pot. And if the dragon needed to fly away, the dragon would need someone to either take or keep this honey pot or give this honey pot to. Will you accept the honey pot or will you reject it because you're afraid of the dragon? It's going to be some, some a lot of um unexpected things coming um to earth. A lot of grounding is going to take place. A lot of abundance and then look look at the roots. Look at the tree. You know it may not come in a form in which you expect but air, air element one is that thought of action. What will you do? Because there's a blessing here that is literally life changing. So it is a time to do away with negative energy, stuck energy. And like I tell you, because I hear spirit says, tell them, tell them, tell them. How do you know, like, what would be an indication or indicator that you are um surrounded or you are absorbing or you or you are exposed to like negativity like let's 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 take your home or your apartment for example say you leave out your apartment you go get in your vehicle or you put your headphones on and you jamming and you having a good day oh the day gonna be a good day the sun is out the birds is chirping i'm gonna have a good day at work i'm gonna have a good day at the library i get to spend time with my family whatever i get to hang out with some friends it's my day off soon as you return home and you walk back through the threshold of your doors you're like dang i did have a good day but i'm just not feeling it or you say I'm so tired. I'm just I, I I did have a long day. I'm just gonna go to bed. You don't even eat, you just go to bed. You don't even take a shower, you just go to bed. It, there could be so much uh negative energy in that area that literally it can suck the life out of you. Some of you need to pay attention to how your body feels, but a lot of you need to get your mind right. Because a blessing is coming and you won't even see it. Or a blessing is in front of your face and you don't even know enough to see enough to even accept. Yeah. It's a lot going on here, Earth. I'm telling you. 
Spirit, what is the insight towards this fortune of courage? Being courageous. This is a time of stepping up. Being grounded and solid. What is here for the taking? Love. Love comes in many forms. And it is also a ten. Synchronicity of numbers. Tens or ones. Another ten. Do what you got to do. And I hear I hear it's, it's going to fall in your lap. It's going to fall in your lap. And some of you are going to say, oh, get it away from me. And you don't even know. Because you're so, don't, do not dwell on the um physical appearance of things. I'm telling you. That's just like you go to an old antique shop. You see this old rusty, crusty vase of vase, whatever. And you say, mm, $2, what could I do with that? Where could I put that? Some of you say, you know what, for two bucks, I find something to do with it. And you buy it. Some of you will say, nah, I don't care if it was worth a two cent. I don't want it. And then the people who chose that rusty, crusty vase, because in their mind, they're going to polish it, refurbish it, restore it, whatever you do with the vase. I don't know. And then when you, you know, get home and you look inside, you say, well, there's something down in there. You stick your hand in there and you pull it out. Oh, that was a piece of paper. What is this paper? And then you look down and it's like a roll of bills or a diamond or something. I'm telling you, something is, 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 is going to come in a form that you would least expect that you would, when you see it, you're going to be ready to reject it. But they're saying, don't, this is a hidden blessing. This is a hidden blessing. So earth, get ready. And you ain't got to tell me because uh, I'm going to see what I'm, um, where my earth signs at. Taurus is my opposite. All right. First one out. Let's go. This is just the, um, spiritual connection and then we'll get into your spiritual connection and pathways here you have the first ray of power yes coming in as a one don't pay attention to that little square my daughter drew that she's like six now she drew it when she was like five i don't know what she was doing but it's something about a square because this if my eyes fall upon it a square something in a package what is a square a home a building a structure Something is hidden. Something is um sheltered. Something is blocked. And then the thing about it is here, they're telling us you have enough power when you think you do not or when you do not have enough knowledge to know you have the power. The divines are behind you pushing you forward to take an action because see here's a feminine energy showing lack lack of what lack of power then the divines come in here and say <clears throat> um what's the what's the show uh i dream a genie been when she used to do this and yeah that's exactly what i see you know i dream a genie bewitched isn't that it and then she used to twinkle what is it she used to fold her hands she used to and make it happen a lot of you need to understand that you hold power in your hands and it is time because this power that you hold, you have opportunities crazy. Divine worth, divine value, ace of coin. Anything that is of value, you have now gained access to it. Yes. Any type of love, any type of reciprocation of love or any loving manner and loving offer, you have now gained access to it. Ace of cups. Yeah. They're telling us this is now a time of changing knowledge, changing knowledge to become abundant. Yes, it comes in as the five. And are they talking to you? Yes, they're talking to you because the ace of cups, ace of coin and the five of knowledge makes the seven. What is the seven? Seven is a number of self-reflection. And upon this power, you will eight. Go through a transformation mm -hmm, of knowledge to get your opportunity and valuable items or value, whatever is valuable to you, and that love. If you want it, if you want it, it's here. I'm going to check. Let's see. I want to know. 
Spirit, what surrounds this change of knowledge? You are going to learn. A lot of you are getting ready to get this wish fulfillment. I'm telling you. Wish upon a star. Mm. Star. See how the star is over the head? What is this change of uh, knowledge? No denying that you have the power, baby. They don't even want to stand my hand. This is how it falls out on my table. Denial comes out in reverse. I can honestly say I think this is the first time I ever seen denial in reverse. See? Denial. And this is the five as well. Five. No deniable changes. You can't deny it. What can you, you're going to learn. You're going to learn. Yes. And together the five with the five makes the what? One. Let's go. The one you, the one thought, the one journey. And let's, we, let's we'll keep going. Spirit, why is the now in reverse for the signs, the planets, and the houses of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? What cannot be seen in the physical but is there in the spiritual? Floating. Floating, 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 floating. A lot of you are, uh, you, got, you received the Dragon's Duo. A lot of you are um, in a time, right, coming in as a five um, changes where a lot of you are in your heads. You will alternate into your feelings. And a lot of you that are in your feelings will alternate into your logic. I'm telling you. And that transition, don't forget, transformation. It's going to be the greatest thing ever for you because it, it, it's, it's, it's going to come a time when you go from being in your head to your emotions and from your emotions to your head. There's always a meeting point. And when you get to that meeting point of switching those two, you gain power. Mm -hmm. And when you gain power, you learn some things. And when you learn some things, you learn to apply. The changes that come, then you get hit with opportunities. And here's three. I know y'all saying, no, Leah, that's two. No, it's three. Ace of coin, right? That's one opportunity. Ace of cups, that's another opportunity. Or the ace of coin, ace of cups together. Three opportunities. You can have all three if you want. Beautiful. Let's get it. Let's go, Earth Signs yes now let's get into your connection spiritual connection and your pathway and your pathway actually flew out on top of uh the spiritual connection so here we're gonna go over the pathway first you have a change of uh compass a change of direction which everyone is going through a shift everyone is going through a shift Compass comes in as a five, change of direction, and you receive the clarifier. The shapeshifter, the creation of the shapeshifter. Towards what? Towards the balancing of the fifth way of intellectual knowledge. Uh, water signs also receive this, and don't forget, earlier I picked up on water signs. I don't know who's dealing with water signs, but the thing that I can tell you, Earth, Without the earth, there would be no water. And without the water, there would be no earth. The earth is the holder of the water, correct? They work well together, right? Well together. Um, They keep coming out. Change. Um, Here, in the balancing of the fifth rate of uh, intellectual knowledge, now all these people, they're dull, they're faded, they don't have any energy. They're like zombies, but here is earth sign standing out, shining bright. And then the thing is, the reason why you are feminine energy, because you don't know that you possess the power of the intellectual knowledge to bring a balance to you, people around you, or your situation. See that? Shining like a light, baby. Look at that. Look at ya. Look at ya. And then they're telling us, that this change is coming. You are getting ready to switch positions. You are getting ready to change pathways. Um, A lot of you need to understand and recognize that uh, not all changes and switches are, or they're always for the better, but they're not, Um, they don't always feel so good. 
And that is me speaking about cutting away and walking away from people. Sometimes you have to uh, walk away. Sometimes you have to get away to uh, clear your mind, to free your mind, to be yourself. Yeah. And then this is me. I always been like this for I, ever since I was grown. I tell you uh, um, a quick little story. Uh, I was dating a water sign. I'm a water sign, right? And just out the blue. Okay, we broke up, right? We broke up. We stopped talking. We stopped talking. We never, like, really put it out there about clarity of, like, breaking up. We just stopped talking. Hmm. So then out the blue, you know, I get a phone call. Oh, we got to work it out. We're going to do this. We're going to work it out. So, okay, that's cool. But that's if you haven't, you know, if you're not, you know, talking to anybody or whatever, you're not being, you're not with anybody. And I was like, no, not really. I just been working. So then you call me again and we were talking and everything was cool. Call me again. We talking and everything is cool. You made plans. We made plans. It was cool. You called me back and told me, no, no, no. This is the plans have changed. I said, all right, cool. Well, um. Can I um borrow a couple of dollars until I get paid? And it was paid. And I was like, well, you know, sure. Um, and I just give it back to you tonight when I get paid. I just want to make sure I have a you know enough money on me for gas and food and all of that, whatever. Gave him the money, got a couple of texts, but then I got a phone call, but then I never we never officially like got together to meet. And I said to myself, you know what? This ain't going to work because I, I, I can't deal with the back and forth. Jump, jump, jump. Mm -mm. Sometimes you literally have to pay people out of your life. Honestly. And I always been like that. Whatever you may have borrowed from me, whatever I have given you, keep that and leave me alone. Sometimes it's better. So some somewhere up in here, some of you may have had to pay people out of your life. And ever since then, everything has actually been smooth sailing pretty good. And I said, you know what? I had to pay that block out of my life for me to see be better days and spirits better times. And this is what you guys are going to have to do. The creation, the creation of the ship, the shape shifter. This is also known as the, um, the hangman. New insight, better insight. And you are going to face your fears of doing what changing that loneliness factor right and it's going to be a transformation here the three with the five make the eight the eight is calling for a spirit to a person which would be you changing your insight changing your ways right towards the situation of loneliness and you're gonna have to stand up some of you may not want to be alone but right now it is for the better so you can Get to the correct position you need to be in. The illumination of the wounded warrior. A person that is ready to move forward towards the sun. But they're not sure because they're waiting on some type of communication. See that? Eight of staff in the background. A person on a new journey, right? Towards the sun. But they're waiting on communication. So, whatever has happened. Transformation is everywhere transformation is coming in and the sun breaks down to a one major icon of number 19 breaks down to a one changes must occur to get on a um better path a illuminated path or for a lot of you to stop journeying in darkness so you can see the light i'm telling you let's get it spirit what surrounds this compass for earth signs, planets, houses, right? And birth signs, the grounding of playful. <laughs> this is also, um, this is going to be a time where a lot of you are going to look back in the past and say, you know what? That was the best move I could have ever made. That was the best choice I could have ever made for myself. Whether it is to leave someone in the past that want to stay jumping on top of you um or leaving an old person or old place or old job or old situation in the past to see brighter bigger days better days 
And this comes in as eight spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as transformations, calling for a spirit to a person or a situation. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna find a uh, you're gonna find a light. I just keep hearing you're gonna find the light, the light, the light, the light. There's gonna be some type of beacon. Or there's going to be some type of uh, news, like a communication, a text message, some type of communication in different forms are coming in for a lot of you guys. Yeah. And then you know what you're going to, I hear a lot of you saying, you know what, being by myself is not so bad. You know why? Because sometimes you have to be by yourself to find yourself. A transformation changes everywhere. But at the end of it all, a balance is here. In your mind, intellect, or what you have learned or what you have came through or the person that you have released. And in order to heal, you must release, then heal. Changes of direction. Changes of direction. Together, they represent the two opportunity miss opportunity choices decision options the the conversation factors of conversating and debating the conversating is the talking the agreements right and the understanding of the communication that is given the debating side of conversation is the fighting the yelling the disagreements the misunderstanding of communication and the law enforcement being called out or the two connecting factors or the two connecting factors becoming one that could be a divorce that could be a breakup so you do what you got to do earth spirit for the fifth ray of intellectual knowledge towards the changing of their direction what is here card comes out see and points to the energy deck the unseen the unknown heartbreak moon towards a heartbreak mm -hmm. yeah and i'm gonna tell you something major archon on 18 breaks down to a nine the moon and the heartbreak comes in as a nine yeah all together they represent the nine what is the nine the divines calling for your attention to a person heartbreak and a situation unseen heartbreak you gotta have a heartbreak that is the releasing of the heartbreak the healing is the grounding earth i'm telling you it's here a unseen a unknown heartbreak but at the end of it all the divines are here causing it. That's why a lot of people do not see it coming. A lot of you may not feel it coming. And I'm still picking up water sign. You are either going to let go of a water sign or after your uh, healing process, you're going to meet a water sign, I'm telling you. Or this water sign is going to help you heal. Underneath the deck, the devil is here. I told you the devil is here with that stop block. The devil is surrounded by fire. What is the rep representation of fire? Fire is used to manifest, create, or destroy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is the devil stop blocking? Value. Anything that is valuable to you. The devil is here to block. Release. Bye-bye. Bye, Felicia. That's the devil new name. Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Yeah. And then they tell us why, though. Why? Because you need to get your mental together. Mm -hmm. King of Swords. And do what? Recover. But the thing about it is, for Swords, a lot of you are not going to recover. You, a lot of you are not going to get out of your head because the king of swords holds his sword up towards the four of swords. And the ace of swords in the king's hand with the four of swords makes the five of swords. What is the five of swords? Walking away. And then they tell us that is what? A conflict of action. Another five. 
conflict of action that must be resisted. Seven of staff, resisted. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Because see, the thing about it is, the five of staff with the seven of staff leaves the two of staff. What is the two of staff? What needs to be done? Having the, move, the willpower to move forward and not reflect in the past. The two of staff. And then they tell you take massive action, right? The vines are here. That's that blue beetle that represents the vines coming in to give you a nudge, a pinch, a bite, a tickle, a scratch to move forward. Towards what? Standing strong. Mm -hmm. And the king of staff with the seven of staff makes the eight of staff. And doing what? Laying down burdens. Yes, some more staffs. Laying down burdens. Laying down problems. Letting go of people. Moving out of situations. Because here, the, the ten of staff represents a person on a new journey, ace of staff, away. See how in the other hand? From being the nine of staff. What is the nine of staff? Wounded warrior. Some of you are waiting on communication. Eight of staff, communication. Somebody's waiting for communication to come in. So you know, okay, when I see what I need to see, when I hear what I need to hear, right? When I dream of what I need to dream of, because I hear dreams is here too. Bye-bye. I'm laying down that nine of staff. I don't want to be a wounded warrior. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be on the ground. I don't want to know. Uh, I, I'm not sure about which way to go. It's still here. Not nine of staff, that wounded warrior. You want to be up and moving towards your son. And then they tell us what else is included in this burden. Getting out of that mental block. Getting out of the mental lack. Queen of Swords. And doing what? Ending that mental block, mental wounding for justice to come in with a new plan, baby. With a new plan. See that? Eight of Cups. And the change of a pathway. Let's get it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then they say, this serves as your mental clarity. So if you are waiting on a sign, a symbol, communication, message, I am that. Spirit has came forth and spoke to you. Mental clarity towards the change of a pathway, change of a commitment. Change of spiritual leader, spiritual teacher, or a teacher or a leader. Do what you got to do. And then they tell us here, mental thought towards action. Because the page of swords represents the logic. And isn't the hierophant holding up a staff? Look at this staff. Staff. Logic of action. Thought of action. Do what you got to do, Earth. I'm telling you. When you, if a lot, if you become heartbroken, don't linger long. I'm telling you. And you pushing it in the back of your mind, that don't do nothing. Because guess what? As long as you push it in the back and don't address it, it will return. Earth, I'm telling you. All Earth. So a lot of you are going through transformations. If you are not uh, with anyone and you want to be with someone, transformation and this change of this pathway is everything. Because you are going to be put in alignment with the person who you need to be with at this time. And all relationships do, does not uh, end in marriage. They are the people that are uh, put along your path to teach you the lessons that you need to learn to elevate. And then what is the song I keep hearing? Uh, um, LMA. It's called Close. Um, it's a song by LMA. It's called Close. That's all I keep hearing. It's something. She says something about push up on me. Push up on me. Uh. It's something about a song. It's about a, it's like a, it's like a song about a dance, but um she's talking about being close to a person. So that song is going to be for the person who is going to be there to heal you, 
the person who is going to be there to help you release because those are different steps this is there there's going to be a person there to help you uh ease through the process of this heartbreak because it's coming it's coming so listen i'm leah if i didn't tell you earlier i read numbers and colors i don't even remember anybody who needs to talk to me email me text me call me my number is there in the about section um if you have not viewed dark mystics my channel is dark mystics with an s 666 that represents the divine the sixes break down to the nine which is the divines and look at the blocks um for this month um and there has been storm warnings issued storm warnings is um at dark mystic 666 that's that was for the uh remainder of the month of september the last two weeks storm warnings and then i believe air sign has storm warning or water sign has storm warning but water signs did have this so when you get time go look at the water signs um spiritual connection and pathways too so until i see you guys next time i'm getting ready to do twin flames too but twin flames are going to be found at my website and light to i probably won't post it on youtube i'm not sure but i'll let you guys know um look for the community vote to see what what what's what where are we going for october i don't know what type of insights we're gonna look at i haven't even put a poll out but i'm getting ready to um but until i see you guys next time work it out figure it out and recover right <laughs>